progression let's discuss about the few more problems related to it which will help you in the examination NTC evaluate 7 plus 77 plus 777 plus 7777 and so on up to n terms now whenever we write this kind of a problem 777 maybe 333 3033 so there is always a simple approach for this kind of a question we've always tried to make this 77 as the 999 let's solve this let's take out 7 as a common it will become 1 plus 11 plus 111 and so on let's take out let's multiply it with the 9 and divide it with the 9 it becomes 719 see I have told you to make it as a 9 now this is 9999 and 999 and so on why we are making as 9 there is an advantage of of solving this kind of problem now this is 7 upon 9 now this 999 all lines can be written as 10 minus 1 here is 100 minus 1 and so on now the beauty is I get the value as 10, 100, 1000 and so on 10, 100, 1000 are in GP therefore I can say 7 upon 9 is 10 plus 10, 100 plus 1000 up to n terms up to n terms now it's minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 this is up to n terms so that means it is subtracting in minus 1 up to n times that means I have to separate minus n from this quantity right now this is 7 upon 9 this is 10 plus 10 is to power 1 2 plus 10 is to power 3 and so on minus n now applying the formula of a gp whose first term is n and series is up to n and the common ratio is 10 applying the gp formula first term is 10 common ratio is again 10 it's become 7 upon 9 10 10 is to power n minus 1 upon 9 minus n hence the result is 7 upon e1 10 is to power n plus 1 minus 9 n minus 10 hence this is the answer therefore the, therefore let me recall problem was 777 7. 7 plus 77 plus 777. 7. And maybe the problem in future will make it 1, or 2, 2, 2, 2. Whenever we get this kind of problem, we try to convert this numbers into the 9 so that we can get 10 minus 1. And so we get the series of 10, 100, 1000, which is in GP, and minus and minus up to n times that is minus 1. This is very easy to turn up. If we, this is very easy to make it as a minus n. That's why we have approached in this way. Let's do another problem to find sum of GP. GP is 2 upon 3 minus 4 by 9 plus 8 upon 27 minus 16 upon 81 and so on up to infinity. How to solve the problem of infinity? This is important here. First of all, let's calculate what is the common ratio. Now it's already given it's in GP. Let's calculate the common ratio. Common ratio, which is second term upon first term. Second term upon first term is minus 4 upon 9 upon 2 by 3, which is equal to minus 2 by 3. Yes, it is less than 1, therefore, so we can calculate up to infinite. This is less than 1, therefore we can say we can calculate up to infinite. Now, got the value of r. We know the first value a is 2 by 3. Applying the formula of sum of the infinity, which is a upon 1 minus r, let's apply this. This is 2 by 3 upon 1 plus 2 by 3, which is equal to 2 upon 5. Hence, this is the answer for this infinite GP. Find all the natural numbers less than 400 which are not divisible by 6 
Now we have to find all the natural numbers which are not divisible by 6 and which are less than 400. This is enough. Now, can I say this? Can I calculate the sum of all the natural numbers? Natural numbers up to 400. Yes, I can calculate the sum of all the natural numbers up to 400, which is n into n plus 1 by 2. Sum of n natural numbers. Now, this is now this is you have to calculate less than 400. This is very important here. Less than means we have to calculate up to 399. Means 400 is not included. Therefore, here n is 399. Now, n into n plus 1 becomes 399. n plus 1 is 400 upon 2. The sum is 79800. 0. Now, these are all the national sum of the, all the national numbers which are less than 3, less than 400. Or maybe you can say less than or equal to 399. Now let's calculate sum of all the natural sum of all the natural numbers divisible by six. That means let's calculate another sum which are divisible by six. This is six plus twelve plus eighteen. Right? This is all the numbers which are divisible by six. The first number will be six, twelve, eighteen, and so on. Now it costs the number which is smaller than 399 which is divisible by 6 number which is divisible by 6 and less than 400 is 396 that means it will cost up to 396 now let's calculate how many terms are there from 600 6 to 396 d n equal to a plus n minus 1 into d now first 396 is a dn a is 6 plus n minus 1 d is 6 now let's calculate this n is 66 now n is 66 now let's calculate s to sum now we get the term 66 sum is n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d now 66 by 2 into 2 into 6 plus n minus 1 is 66 minus 1 common ratio is 6 on calculating we will get the sum as 1 3 2 double 6 now this is the sum of all the natural number which are divisible by 6 and less than 400 now the question was to calculate the sum of the, all the natural number which are less than 400 and which are not divisible by 6 what we did we have calculated the natural number, sum of the, all the natural numbers and we calculate the sum of the natural numbers which are divisible by 6. Hence, required result can be get by S1 minus S2. This is the quantity which will give the numbers which are less than 400 and which are not divisible by 6. Hence, the, the quantity is 79800 minus 13266 which is equal to 66534. As this is the answer. This is the problem of arithmetic progression. Let, let's take a few more problems. Given is AM arithmetic mean of two numbers is 34 and GM of two numbers is 100. GM of two number is 16. Now the question is AM of two number is 34, GM of two number is 16. We have to find the numbers. Now, how do you calculate this? AM of a number is 34. I can say let's assume the number A and B. Therefore, the a, a arithmetic mean be A plus B by 2, which is given 34. Now, the arithmetic mean of the same number, it would be A by, geometric mean would be under root of AB, which is given 16. Now, A plus B is 68. And AB is here become 16 into 16, that is 256. Right? Now, Squaring this quantity, a plus b whole square is become 68 square. Now this is a square plus b square plus 2ab is 68 square. Now a square plus b square plus 2ab. Let's subtract both sides with the 4ab. And why I'm doing with 4ab? This is very important here. I'm doing the this is subtracting 4ab. This reason is. 2ab minus 4ab become a square plus b square minus 2ab and this is 68 square minus 4ab ab is 256 that is 4 into 256 
I did this just because to make this quantity as a minus b whole square, which is 68 square minus 4 into. Now let me calculate this quantity. This is 68 square minus 4 into 54. Let me calculate this quantity. This, this comes out to be 3600. Now obviously, now a minus b will become 60. And I know the a plus b. I know the a minus b. Now I can calculate the a and b. a minus b is 60 and a plus b is, uh, we know that this is 68 initially. a minus b is 60, a plus b is 60. Yeah, there one solving, you can say a is 64 and b is 4. Hence the answer. Let's take one more problem. Now this is the interesting problem. Look at cap. Some of the infinite series. One upon ten plus two upon ten square plus three upon ten cube and so on. Now this is why this is important. Uh, why this is interesting series because you will not get any pattern. This is not the AP as well as this is not the GP. Now we have to solve it some some way. We can see denominator ten times square ten cube is forms the GP while the numerator a one two three is forms the AP. Now how to solve this kind of a problem? This is very important here. Let me denote this sum as is equal to 1 upon 10 plus 2 upon 10 square plus 3 upon 10 cube and up to infinity. Now look carefully. I can I say the s upon 10? I'm dividing the whole thing with the 10, all this cross progression with the 10. Upon dividing the 10, this 10 come 10 square, 2 upon 10 cube. And 3 upon 10 to the power 4 and up to infinity. Right? I got the s and s by 10. Let's subtract this s with the s by 10. Let's subtract this two equation, naming 1 and 2. s minus s upon 10. Here it is. This is 1 upon 10 minus 2 upon. This is 2 upon 10 square minus 1 upon 10 square. Let's subtract in this order. Way. Let's subtract this way. 3 upon 10 cube spread with the 2 upon 10 cube and Let's subtract alternative terms. This becomes the first term is 1 upon 10 here plus second term 2 upon 10 square minus 1 upon 10 square will become 1 upon 10 square. Similarly 3 upon 10 cube minus 2 upon 10 cube 3 minus 2 that is 1 upon 10 cube and so on up to infinite because we don't know the which is the infinite term and the last term again assumed it will be cancelled out with the last infinite with infinite. Obviously uh, if there would be an n term that we we'll have, could have left with the one term which would not be cancelled out in this series 2 but it's infinite we are not we don't know about it now s minus s upon 10 become 9s upon 10 this is now pure gp that is 1 upon 10 plus 1 upon 10 square plus 1 upon 10 cube up to infinite now some of the infinite gp here is a upon 1 minus r that is here a is 1 upon 10 and r is 1 upon 10 the formula is a upon 1 minus r which is equal to 1 upon 10 upon 1 minus 1 upon 10 which is equal to 1 upon 9 hence 9 s upon 10 the value here is 1 upon 9 now the sum the important thing that we have to really calculate it here 1 upon 9 this 10 and 9 comes to the RHS it becomes 10 upon 9 now this is 10 upon 81. Now sum of this given series is here is 10 upon 81. Now this is very important and interesting. I mean you get the sum when you get the series of AP as well as GP, and this is the way you can solve the series. Let me give you a let's solve one more problem. Uh, this is comparatively sim simpler. Find the sum of the series of the term 6 into rest to power half into 6 rest to power 1 by 4 into 6 rest to power 1 by 8 up to infinite. The important thing here is here is not the addition, here it is a product. Product 6 rest to power 1 by half into 6 rest to power 1 by 4. This is all the sign of product. The power is 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 8. Now, how to get the product of this series? And it's not sum. Thing is, we apply the law of the exponent here. 6 is to power 4 becomes 6 is to power half plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 
and up to infinity right here we apply the exponent flow now this is the power 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 this is the quantity which is in gp and that is up to infinity now let me calculate this gp 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 1 by 8 up to infinity here a is 1 by 2 and the common ratio is half now the formula again for the infinite gp here is a upon 1 minus r which is 1 by 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 now the sum of infinity become 1 now the thing is a real question was 6 raised to power as infinity now this is 6 raised to power 1 the answer is 6 therefore the product of the given this product of the given series is 6 that's interesting now right thank you thank you very much Please visit the website www.edunetworking.com for more videos.